busted, guys. President Bola Metinubu finally took bold step. Exposed people financing terrorists in Nigeria. Number one, we shock you. When I not say this issue of bandit uh, financing, not be today, Nigerians don't they talk up. Who be those people when they do this thing? I beg, name them. We won't, we won't know our enemy. You understand? In this country, those people who have vowed that we're not going to know peace, we're going to go hungry, all those kind of things. During Muhammad Buhari time, uh, yes, he said there are about 400 persons so, or 400 and something persons. But they cannot name them, they can't shame them. They understand, they know why they can't do that. Uh -huh. But make me hit this news. Because the number of President Bola Metunubu on self, he go tire you. President Muhammad Buhari said 400, more than 400 persons. But now, Tinubu government is saying 15 persons. So where are the rest of them? Anyway, make we not talk too much. Let's hit the news and get the full details. But I, uh, I said the number one person they called will shock you. If you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The federal government of Nigeria has reviewed the identity of 15 entities, including nine individuals and six brewery, the change, BDC, operators, and firms allegedly involved in terrorism financing. Details of the development were reviewed by the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit on Tuesday night in a document entitled Designation of Individuals and Entities for March 18. 2024. The document revealed that the Nigerian Sanctions Community, NSC, met on March 18, 2024, where specific individuals and entities were recommended for sanction following their involvement in terrorism financing. The Honorable Anthony General of the Federation, with the approval of the President, has thereupon designated designated the following individuals and entities to be listed on the Nigerian sanctions list, the document read in part. Among the individuals named in the document was a Kaduna-based publisher, Tako Mamu, who is currently being tried by the federal government for allegedly heading the terrorists who attacked the Abuja Kaduna train in March 2022. According to the document, Mamu participated in the financing of terrorism by receiving and delivering ransom payments over the sum of $200,000 US $200,000 in, in support of ISWAP terrorists for the release of hostages of the Abuja Kaduna train attack. Mamu is an ally of controversial Kaduna based Islamic cleric Ahmed Gumi. The document revealed that one of the individuals is a suspected attacker of the St. Francis Catholic Church Awo Ondo State on June 5, 2022, and the Kuji Correctional Center Abuja on Ju July. 5th, 2022. Another was described as a member of the terrorist group Asiru Moselina. The group is associated with the al Qadih in the Islamic Maheb. The subject was trained and served under Mata Permakrata, aka One Eyed. Out. The NFIU said the individual specializes in designing terrorist clandestine communications code and he's also an Im improved in provist explosive device IDC expert. The subject was also a gatekeeper to Asiru leader Mohammed Usman, aka Khalid Ali Bawai, 
equally he was a a career and travel uh, guide to acute katibats in the desert of Algeria and Mali he is into carpentry the subject field kuji a correctional center on july 5th 2022 is currently at large another was identified as a senior commander of the islamic state of west african province okene the agency said the individual came into the lame light in 2012 at north central wing of boko haram the group is suspected of the attacks carried out around february around federal capital territory and the southwest geographical zone including the june 5th 2022 attack on st uh, st francis catholic church on those states in who another words described as a financial uh, uh, career to iswap okene she is responsible for the disburse the disbursement of funds to the widows the widows the wives of the terrorists the fighters of the group the document also reviewed another of the individuals in 2015 transferred 50 million naira to terror, terrorism convict he was also said to have received the sum of 189 million between 2016 and 2018 the same person is said to own entities and business reported in the UAE court judgment as facilitating the transfer of terrorist funds from Dubai to Nigeria another individual was reported to have received a total of 57 million naira from between 2014 and 2017 another was said to have had a total inflow of 61.4 billion and a total outflow of 51.7 billion from his account. The document further revealed that in accordance with section 54 of the Terrorism Prevention and uh, Prohibition Act 2022, institutions and individuals are required to one immediately identify and froze without period notice all funds assets and any other economic resources belonging to the designated persons and entities in your positions your possessions and reports uh, same to the sanctions com- committee reports to the sanctions committee any asset frozen or actions taken in compliance with the prohibition requirements immediately file a suspicions transactions report to the nfiu for the further analysis on the financial activities of such an individual or entity and report as a suspicious transactions report to the nfiu all cases of known matching in financial transaction period or after receipt of the list i know i know you understand what they do here they not going to name the other persons Like as I said, President Bola Metunubu said they were f- uh, more than four hundred persons. Yes, but today, um, did they tell us say they are fifteen? Well, maybe they are yet to uh, discover other names. But Nigerians want to see these people. You see, I don't even know why this is happening. You see why they say man's. You know, worst enemy is the member of his household. Every name when they come for here now, when you hear all of them now from the north, you they see your people they suffer like this. Your people are suffering. You are killing your people. No, it doesn't matter. And you are calling the government to come and help you. And you are the one, you know, destroying your own people with your own hands. So, guys, when I don't hear the matter now, we they watch to see how Nigerian government will end this one. How they go pursue this matter, Rich? 